Hello my dear friends, welcome and welcome to this last lecture regarding the uh, abdominal quadrants, right? So we have, up to now we have covered the, about the organs of the right upper quadrant, then the right lower quadrant, then the left upper quadrant and now in the last lecture we are going to cover the left lower quadrant of the abdominal cavity. So if you are watching us for the first time, I will give you the links of each video regarding the abdominal quadrants and the abdominal regions in the description of this video. You go and please watch those lectures to have a clear knowledge and if you watch those lectures and got some knowledge then do, do hit the like button and also please do subscribe the channel. Thank you so much. Let's go back and uh, let's discuss about the uh, right lower quadrant of the abdominal cavity right so this is our right I'm sorry left left lower quadrant right so left lower quadrant let's know about the organs which are present there so the first group of organs that I have mentioned in all the quadrants are the digestive organs which digestive organs are present in the left lower quadrant of your abdominal cavity so digestive organs look carefully friends which digestive organ is found there in the left lower quadrant so look the first thing which is very important is as you can see if you both combine both of them so this will be the lower this is the upper both side both on the left side right so this first part of descending colon is present in the upper quadrant left uh, left upper quadrant but the last parts of the descending colon is present in the left lower quadrant so we say the last or the distal part of distal part of descending colon descending colon is there okay the first thing which plays its role in digestion we know the next thing that is present there we know that there is your sigmoid colon right <clears throat> so sigmoid colon is there sigmoid colon and it plays also its role in the digestion right and that uh, there is the what is this part this is the last part of your small intestine right so we say that the last part and that is your ileum, right so ileum is there and not all parts of the ileum is there right as I have mentioned in these two the the the, the right upper and the right lower I have mentioned each part of the alium and each part of the small and large intestine both so go and watch those so last parts of the alium is present there the fourth one is the last parts of the jejunum is present there so distal jejunum distal part of jejunum is found in your lower uh, left lower quadrant of the abdominal cavity okay then the next uh, that plays its role in the digestion of food that we we can't find anything else that is present there uh, which plays their role in the digestion of food so the next group of organs that will be present in the left lower quadrant of your abdominal cavity will be the uh, endocrine organs are there any endocrine organs in the left lower quadrant of the abdominal cavity yes friends if we talk about both the sexes if we talk about the female what will be there and if we talk about male what will be there so while talking about females left lower quadrant we will see what there so female okay in case of female we can see the endocrine part that is present here as I have drawn here also you can see the ovary of the female is present there right so we say that the left ovary of the female is found in the left lower quadrant of the abdominal cavity right and in case of male what is there in case of male 
so in case of male as we have discussed there that there is the seminal vesicles found right seminal vesicles found which play a very little role in the uh, endocrine activity of the male's body right so in case of female the endocrine part of the right lower quadrant is the ovary and in case of male there is the seminal vesicles right friends in the third group of organs that are found in the right lower quadrant will be the excretory organs are there excretory organs yes we have our excretory organs present there which excretory organ is present there so we know that we know that the 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 ureters are found there right the left ureter left ureter and you should not forget about your urinary bladder so urinary bladder is there urinary bladder right the next group of organs that we can see here are the lymphatics the fourth one are there any lymphatic organ lymphatic organs no friends we don't have any lymphatic organ the organ as spleen is there we don't have any other organ any such organ which is there so none of the lymphatic organs are present there in the left lower quadrant of the abdominal cavity right and the fifth group of organs that we should not forget are the reproductive organs are there reproductive organs in your left lower quadrant yes we have reproductive organs in the left lower quadrant of our abdominal cavity so if you talk about the female which will which reproductive organs will be there female right so we we know that there is some parts of the uterus present right so uterus is there okay and you know that from this lecture i had told you that uterus is present there in the right and left both and the fallopian tubes are there right fallopian tubes are there ovaries are there so we say the uterus is there the fallopian tubes are there fallopian tubes are there and the ovary which ovary the left ovary is there in case of female and in case of male which reproductive organ will be there in case of male so in case of male you will find the vas deferens right vas deferens is there and then there is seminal vesicles right so these structures are found in your left lower abdominal quadrant clear friends so with this we are finished with all the abdominal quadrants that we wanted to explain to you guys that we have explained the right upper quadrant left lo right lower quadrant right uh, left upper quadrant and left lower quadrant and the organs which are present which are found in the abdominal quadrants and before that we have recorded about the organ which are found in the abdominal regions so see you in the next lectures we will see what next we are going to record so till then take care uh, see you in the next lecture allah hafiz